Stand by the gray stone when the thrush knocks, and the setting sun with the last light of Durin's day will shine upon the keyhole. Ah, oh, so you're gonna need a key then. Yep, let's build one! Materials for this prop include cardboard, barbecue skewers, double stick tape, aluminum tape, small adhesive foam squares, a handsaw, duct tape, black acrylic paint, super glue, scissors, and an X-Acto blade. First, draw and cut out the shape of your key. Cut off the placeholder for the perpendicular piece. We'll add that later. Using the handsaw, cut the barbecue skewers into length to form the ridged texture of the key. You'll need one piece for each red line in the diagram. This will be a long, meticulous process. Use the double stick tape to hold the barbecue skewers in place on the cardboard key. Be sure the barbecue skewer pieces are centered and cut away any excess double stick tape. Once you have the outline, repeat on the other side. Wrap the key in aluminum tape. You may need to cut the tape in places to get around all of the edges. You can also use an extra barbecue skewer to further define the texture of the key by gently pressing the tape down on both sides of the taped barbecue skewer. Before you cover the middle section in aluminum, cut one of the foam squares into an even smaller square to fit into the middle diamond of the key. Use another piece of cardboard to draw and cut out another square for the perpendicular piece. It should be the same size as the diamond you're attaching it to. Remember to exercise caution when using an X-Acto blade. Cut one point on the square to slip it into place on the key. Repeat the process of placing barbecue skewers and aluminum tape over the new square. Slip the new piece into place on the main key. Use a piece of duct tape to reseal it and cover the duct tape with aluminum tape. Use a barbecue skewer to gently draw the designs of the key into the foil. Dab a bit of black acrylic paint on your fingers and run them all over the key. The point is not to make the key black, but to have just enough black to enhance the designs and patterns and give the key an aged look. You can also use a paper towel to wipe off excess paint. Use super glue to attach the new piece to the main key and stand it up to let it dry. And there's your finished key to Erebor. What do you think, Phil? You want to go on a treasure hunt? Was he just talking to a clay bird? 